In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use the star tool to create a compass rose, the arms that rotate to provide direction in a traditional compass. I've already got some ruler guides set up, a vertical and horizontal guide that define the center point of my artboard, which is 640 pixels by 640 pixels. And I've also got a circular guide so that I can create my logo to exact dimensions. In this example, the circular guide has a diameter of 400 pixels, and it's important I know this value for something that I'll be doing later on to finish off this logo. I show you how to set up these guides in a separate tutorial, and I'll give you a link to this tutorial at the end of this movie, and also in the show more extended description that you can click on below. I'll start by selecting the star tool, which is in the rectangle group of tools. Remember in Illustrator, when you draw a star, Illustrator remembers your last used settings. So I'm getting something like an eight point star. I'll delete that example. It's not what I want. So I need to control the number of points in the star. I'll reselect the star tool. I will position my cursor carefully on the intersection of these two guides, which is essentially the center of the artboard. I can start to press and drag the mouse button. As you saw with the first example, there are eight points on this star and I only need four. So keeping my finger on the mouse, I can press the down arrow key on my keyboard. Then I'll hold down Shift and Alt or Option to constrain the shape and keep it regular. Then I'll release the mouse button before I release the Shift and Alt or Option modifier keys. There's my four point star. I'll go back to the selection tool, position my cursor just slightly outside the bounding box, hold on shift, press and drag in a circular direction to rotate that 45 degrees. And there's my four point star. Now I'll zoom in to work accurately. I'll select the pen tool. Then again, position my cursor very carefully at the center of these two guides. All I need next are some straight line segments. I'll simply click at the center point, move my cursor. I'm not pressing and dragging, I'm just repositioning my mouse. Then I'll click on the top anchor point to create my first line segment. Move my cursor to the next anchor point, again click, and then back to the start point. Notice the small circle that appears at the cursor to indicate that when I click, I create a closed path. Now I'll go back to the selection tool, make sure the new object remains selected. Then I'll click the fill box in the appearance pane of the properties panel, and then select a darker shade of orange. Next, I need to rotate copies of this object around the center point. With the object still selected, I'll select the rotate tool from the tool panel, Notice as soon as I select the Rotate tool, the reference point marker, the point around which the transformation will take place, appears at the center of the object. Well, I don't want to rotate around the default center point of the object, so again, I'll hold down the Alt or Option key. Notice that when I hold down the Alt or Option, I get a little extra three dots appearing at the foot of the cursor. That's good because what that means is that when I position my cursor at the center point and click, I achieve two things. The rotate dialog box appears and I've reset the reference point to the center of my artwork. In the rotate dialog box, I'm gonna set a value of 90 degrees for the angle. I can switch on the preview checkbox if I want to check the result, but I'm pretty certain that's what I need. So I'll click the copy button to rotate a copy of my original shadow area around the center point. Then all I need to do is go to object, transform, transform again to repeat the transformation or use the keyboard shortcut control or command and D. Almost there. I'll use the selection tool to marquee all my objects, then control or command and G to group them. Edit copy or control or command C, then edit paste in back, control or command B. Make sure I don't deselect the back copy. 
I'll position my cursor just outside the bounding box, press and drag in a circular direction to rotate and hold on shift to constrain the rotation to increments of 45 degrees. Then position my cursor on a corner handle, start dragging inward, but hold on the Alt or Option key to scale around the center point. I can then fine tune the scaling of these objects as needed. To finish off, I've got a circle with a dashed stroke that I've already created. I'll go to Object, Show All, and there it is. I show you how to create a circle like this with an equal dash gap pattern all the way around the circle in a different tutorial. There's a link to it in the show more extended description below this tutorial. That's all for now. Thank you for watching. Please like the like if you like. And if you want to bring a structured approach to learning Illustrator, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks.